wanted the film to succeed. And no doubt Marvel wants this one to succeed. So in the same case for Marvel, Marvel will spend, if they want this one to dominate the box office in the U.S. and Canada like it did in other countries. Uh, definitely coming off the momentum from other countries uh, gives Marvel a lot of confidence. But it's a whole different ball game when you're playing in the U.S. and Canada because you have bigger critics, more particular people. I mean, you have people over in other countries. I'm not saying that other people in other countries aren't smart, because some of them are geniuses. I mean, look over, look at uh, Japan and China, how innovative they are. I mean, everything is produced in Japan and China, so we have our geniuses out there. Uh, but in other countries, uh, films like The Avengers might amaze people more than it would amaze an audience in the U.S. and Canada, because we see this kind of thing every day. If this was released in the U.S. and Canada back in 1995, 1996, with these kind of special effects, I mean it would amaze everybody and it would be getting great reviews. But we are going to have our critics out there. We are going to have our people who aren't going to review this film positively. Uh, so the more positively uh, we look at this film, uh, the better it's going to be for its Blu-ray and DVD release to come over the next couple of months. And uh, definitely we'll probably see a sequel to this film because oftentimes we see a one-shot deal for a superhero movie, and it has to be a fantastic movie uh, to get a, a second or a third installment of the film released. I mean, films like Spider-Man and Iron Man were guaranteed to have second installments because of the popularity of the character. I mean, Spider-Man has been around ever since the 1950s, and some superhero uh, comic uh, people have been around for years and years and years, long before I was ever born. So because of the popularity of them, they were released uh, multiple times theatrically. Oftentimes we don't see that. I wasn't even expecting to see a second Ghost Rider. It took them years before they made a second Ghost Rider for Marvel Comics. So it's going to be really interesting to see where we go from here following the theatrical release and the coverage after it's all wrapped up and said and done about the Avengers. I'm really looking forward to finding out what people are going to be saying about this on morning shows, on entertainment news programs, on the radio, what people are going to be saying with written summaries. I know Internet Movie Database is a few of them kicking around right now. Uh, definitely pull some of them up if you are uh, skeptical on whether or not to see this film, but I think it's a film you should invest your time in. Any film that receives this much publicity and this much promotion with the interviews and trailers and uh, conversation on Facebook and Twitter, any film that receives this amount of publicity is a film I believe you should invest your time in. I mean, if you see a, a, the a theatrical trailer uh, here probably three or four times a week, it's not something you should go and invest your time in to see. But if you're seeing this every commercial break, no matter what you're watching on television, no matter what network you're seeing it on, uh, you know, it's a film definitely you should invest your time in. And something you should pay attention to are the reviews a couple of days after the film is released that are included usually with the theatrical trailer. That is something that you should take into consideration because oftentimes reviews that are given by magazines, by columnists, by uh, movie critics are something that should be taken into consideration that aren't. And I like to read the subtitles that scroll across the screen uh, in terms of a review that are included with the theatrical trailer a couple of days after a film is released because it gives you a bit of an idea as to what I'm getting myself into. I'll give you a bit of an idea as to what I'm talking about here. Scream 4 was a film I really wanted to see and I was really skeptical about seeing that about a year and a half ago because I had seen the previous three they weren't all that great. I know Scream 1 and 2 were films that people were raving about, but the third installment of the film wasn't that great. So leading up to the uh, fourth one, which was released just about a year and a half ago, I didn't really know if I wanted to see that one. It was a toss-up for me between uh, Scream 4 and Soul Surfer, I believe. And I wrote down all the reasons why I should see Soul Surfer, why I shouldn't see uh, Soul Surfer, and I did the same thing for Screen 4. Finally, after about two and a half hours of deciding which film to see, I chose Screen 4. In addition to that, uh, you know, I paid attention to stuff that happened in the film. I read reviews, and, you know, to me, it was worth going to see because I invested the time into researching what the film was about. So if you're not sure if you should go to see the Avengers, if you're sure you, should, if you shouldn't take your little one to see it or not. Definitely, uh, you know, do some research on it. Use resources like Internet Movie Database. Uh, use resources like uh, TMZ, even if you have to, to try and come up with, uh, you know, detail on the film. Try to decipher whether or not it's a film for you. I will say this, you know, it's often said on times that if you're not a fan of certain things, you're not going to enjoy the theatrical uh, film, the theatrical presentation. 
you have to be a fan of something like Batman or Iron Man or Thor to, to want to go see it. That's the thing with the Avengers. You have to be a fan of the comics. You have to be a fan of three or four of the superheroes of the seven to really want to see it and really enjoy it. If you're not a fan of Thor, if you have no idea who Thor is, then I wouldn't advise you to go see this. And this is not a review of a critic. This is a review of an everyday person who does a radio show with an interest. If you're not a fan of something like The Avengers, then you probably shouldn't invest the time to go see this film. But if you have been a fan of Thor, uh, Captain America, Iron Man all your life, then yes, this is the film for you. It's one of these films that you have to really be into and really have to enjoy uh, to really get into. It's one of those kind of sci-fi type films because the unrealism is, is really there. I mean, the unrealisticness of this film is really there. So I guess it can be classified as a superhero slash action slash sci-fi, a toss-up of the three, uh, throw it in uh, all in one because honestly, uh, it has an element of every kind of film. I mean, it's thrilling, it's got suspense, it's got action, it's got a bit of sci-fi in there with the superhero abilities. I mean, it's a film I think that everybody should invest their time in seeing because it has elements of every kind of film. It has something for everybody, really. For this, uh, yeah, you really have to be into it. I'm not going to say you're going to enjoy it if you've never uh, seen anything having to deal with uh, Captain America, which was portrayed by Chris Evans, which who did a great job. Uh, that was a great film. It was a bit too long, over two hours. That was the thing about the Marvel movies, especially in 2010, from 2010 to the end of 2011. They never did get shorter. They are long films, and I would uh, venture to say The Avengers is going to run anywhere from about 145 to 150 minutes in length. Uh, usually films that have a great deal spent on them have the length uh, included with them. I know the Pirates of the Caribbean films we have seen over the years, the p previous four have ran for about 200, uh, over 200 minutes. So it's something that uh, you should uh, take into consideration. The length is there, uh, but it really does have something for everybody, but you really still have to be into this kind of thing to really enjoy it. I mean, I've seen a lot of promotion for the film. I've heard people talking about it endlessly, and I mean, this is only the first day uh, this film is dropping theatrically. It's going to dominate the box office. It's not going to be as big a film as, say, The Hunger Games, which was the next big thing since Twilight, uh, generating millions of dollars, a film about teenagers competing for survival. Um, but I think it's going to be a huge film superhero-wise. It's going to be the most successful superhero movie release probably since the Spider-Man trilogy or the X-Men saga. It's going to really be over the top uh, for Marvel. Marvel will invest, Marvel will spend, and Marvel will get back just as much, if not more, that they put into the film. And by the end of the film uh, promotion, and when everything is wrapped up, the coverage of the film is uh, wrapped up, and the Blu-ray and DVD sales happen three months from now, when they sit down in a board meeting and they look at the ratings from the film, how much they prospered from the film, that will be then when they decide, okay, do we do a second installment of the film? They probably already know that The Avengers 2 is forecasted for 2013-2014. But when they look at the ratings reports from the film, how it did box office-wise, how it did with Blu-ray and DVD sales, Blu-ray definitely is your best way to go uh, with something like the Avengers in terms of special effects. I saw Thor, uh, the Blu-ray edition of Thor, and I just couldn't get over uh, the special effects and the dramatization. I mean, it was just there for me. It felt like I was a part of the movie, honest to God, and I was only watching it on about a 22-inch television. So that really puts in perspective for you just how uh, detailed the special effects are for some of the more recent superhero movies. So definitely Blu-ray is your best way to go uh, for something like The Avengers, which is really going to dominate the box office uh, special effects-wise and probably story-wise, too. It's going to definitely dominate on more than one avenue. Uh, so definitely make sure you get the opportunity. If you get the chance, uh, check out The Avengers. It's going to be worth your time. I, for one, am really excited about this. And the reason why I put this together uh, is just to let you know how I feel about The Avengers because I've seen so many people talking about it. I've heard so many great reviews how it's supposed to be this enthralling film that's going to leave you captivated from the start of the film until the end of the film. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was always a fan of superheroes. I was a real superhero fanatic. Uh, you know, ever since I saw uh, movies like Batman back in 1989, uh, the early Superman movies, I think he had about four or five. Uh, movies, I think anywhere from 4 to 5. Superman Returns is the latest one of that. I saw that one back in 2006. I've seen all the Hulk movies. I've seen uh, the Captain America movie. I saw Thor. That left me uh, absolutely enthralled 
wanting to see a second one. I've seen Ghost Rider. I've seen all the Iron Man movies. Every kind of Superman uh, hero movie you can think of, I've seen. Even the X-Men movies 1 through 4. And I'm going to be honest with you. I have enjoyed all of them. There is nothing negative I can say about a Marvel movie or a Marvel product. I mean, everything about Marvel is just fantastic. I mean, the way they promote things, they back it financially, and the advertising for the uh, Avengers film is really there, as it has been for films like Captain America, as it has been for films like Spider-Man, as it has been for films like Iron Man. It's all been there. Marvel does not leave films unattended. You better well believe that they will have a ton of promotion, they will have a ton of theatrical trailers, they will have a ton of uh, interviews and commentaries, and just as much will be included with the Blu-ray and DVD. You'll have digital copies, you'll have a DVD copy of the movie, you'll have commentaries, you'll have theatrical trailers that were never released in the US and Canada. You'll have so much on the Blu-ray and DVD, if not more, that you got when it was theatrically released. Marvel goes above and beyond the requirements of a film production company. They're just as good as Fox. And I mean, Fox just celebrated their 25th anniversary. Companies that have been around for years and years and years know what they're doing. So I think you can rely on Marvel for this film to be a fantastic film and to give you what you want. You don't have to, you know, second guess as to whether or not The Avengers is going to be a successful film. Regardless if you go and see it or not, it's going to be talked about. You're going to hear about it. And regardless if you know who any of these superheroes are, uh,